Iron Jack. This is 2003 Nissan Murano. I'm doing a cooling flush on it, changing the thermostat and the uh, cooling temperature sensor. Now let me show you with a better light. See sometimes this light don't want to stay in place. I'm going to get you this better one right here. Now here, the temperature sensor located right behind the engine, back there. It's got a nice shiny piece. Since I don't want to put a light on it, so you won't be too bright in your face. Okay, how's it going? Alright. Now also I changed the thermostat. Look at in the front of the engine right down there. Silver piece. With the, uh, it comes with the whole housing. I put a date on it. Mark the date when it was replaced. Now, this car is, is my customer car. I just, she just bought it and, uh, it needed, it needed a lot of work. Transmission leaking flow from the uh, CV axle seal, both seal. We, we were going to replace that. I already bought all the parts. The right side CV axle boot is busted. I already bought a part for that too. I'm doing a cooling flush on it and a lot of other stuff, including the um, transmission flush, cooling, rear brakes, and a CV axle. Now, after she was going to spend some money on this car to get it right together before she started ro rolling, I figured I discovered something new that we're going to have to stop all that tangle. We didn't stop the heavy duty stuff. I stopped the cooling system first. And see all the shiny stuff right here? This is a blown head gasket chemical right here leaking. So the engine have a blown head gasket. They throw the stop leak in the engine so it will. It won't overheat or it will seal the head. And this was all sitting down in this reservoir, in the cooling reservoir, in the bottom part. So you don't see it. If you look in here deep, I have a huge heavy duty nut. Which if I say nut, I mean like a sticky, sticky stuff. Uh, what is it there? It's in the reservoir, but well, you can't see it right now. Yeah, it's right there in the front of the reservoir inside. See it right there? That stuff right there build up and get sticking in the reservoir and didn't go nowhere. It didn't go in the engine at all. Most of them were in the engine, of course, but a heavy one stay in the reservoir and gets build up. I guess the cold weather. But uh, this is a blowing head gasket chemical ray we're looking at. And uh, you can see my reservoir, my uh, funnel over here. The fluid is not clean at all. And it got a lot of dirty little blacky stuff in it. See it? That blacky looking stuff. That's a clean new two gallon antifreeze. 50 50. I just opened the gallon. Brand new from my advanced auto. And the second gallon, I just the second gallon laying sitting right there. Now, uh, antifreeze is dirty. Reservoir, forget about it. it tell, the reservoir told me everything. The bottom part was sitting, everything was sitting down there. This is blowing head gasket chemical to throw in the engine to seal the engine head and they sold it to the lady. And this is not right. If you have a blown head gasket, the person should know about it. This is a, this is a major work problem, major money issue. All right, this is Iron Jack, mobile auto.